sure a lot of these buildings have been rebuilt uh, because the older buildings were unsafe, but there's still a lot of older buildings in this community. And you're thinking, ancient city, how old is the ancient city of Kashgar? Well, over 2,000 years old. This was actually a trading center back in the Silk Road days. As we take this uh, electric trolley through Kashgar, the old ancient city of Kashgar, you can see there's lots of people in and about. Uh, they're, they're selling trinkets, they're selling food. Uh, this is a major tourist attraction. I had no idea. When I came here, I figured this is going to be just some old town. And uh, when we got to the front gate, well, they had shows going on. There was tons and tons of people. I guess it's, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm learning more as I go along. When I come to a place like this, or any place in China that I've never been, I, uh, I like to come in sort of blind and learn it as I film it, so that you, the viewer, can learn it with me. never ceases to amaze me. Every every time I go on a different trip, every time I go to a different province, there's different things to see and experience. And uh, the ancient city of Kashgar is no exception. This place is amazing. Actually, when I got here, I had no idea Kashgar was a tourist attraction at all like seriously I figured it was an oasis out in the middle of freaking nowhere and uh, basically I knew that it was off the beaten path it used to be on the Silk Road though back in the olden days and because it, they had water here uh, it was uh, basically a very important uh, stop on on the Silk Road back in those days they used to have these little sort of like hotels on the Silk Road every hundred miles. And why every hundred miles? Because, and get this, because a camel can walk a hundred miles between waterings. And then you stop at this, uh, this little hotel, you, you change your camel, you, you trade it in for another camel, and uh, maybe stay, have some to eat, sleep in a bed, and then you're on your next hundred mile trek. And uh, this is one of the stops on that on that road, and I would imagine it's uh, 100 miles to the one out of town one way, and 100 miles to the other hotel out the other way. Kashgar used to be a very small place uh, because it is off the beaten path. Sure, it was important for travelers on the Silk Road, but it really didn't. It really wasn't a big community back then. I did a lot of reading up on Kashgar before I came here because I'm sort of interested in the area. And I noticed that a lot of the older Kashgar, because it was unsafe, was taken down and replaced with the, with stuff that looked basically the same as the old stuff. Uh, better living and whatever. And you can see when you walk into the back alleys, it is sort of made to look old, like like the olden days of, of years gone by. But when you look at the top and, and you have like... Uh, I don't know whether that's a greenhouse or whatever. Uh, you can see that the modern world has reached Kashgar. And uh, I suppose it's inevitable. There still is older areas of uh, the ancient city of Kashgar, but not right here, not in the tourist area. Everything, when you, when you get a place like, uh, well, any place in, in mainland China, that uh, you get a lot of tourists in, you get a lot of shops similar to this where they're selling their their, their trinkets, their wares, uh, things that sort of have a historical value to the people here. Musical instruments, hats, 
cultural cultural things, uh, different crafts that they build and, and stuff like that. And and Kashgar is no different. Uh, it's uh, one of those places that they sell everything that they've made over the years, only in a more commercial way. What you're seeing is all handmade, everybody. This guy out here, that's what he does. He builds this stuff from scratch.